Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are back with another very famous question. I personally have encountered this question in the interview. So I highly recommend watching whole video. So let's read what question says. Write a SQL query to get the nth highest salary from the employee table. So we are giving the table which is employee and we have IDs and we have the salaries. Let's check an example. Suppose n is 2. So the highest salary is 300 and the second highest is 200 then we need to return 200 so let's see it on pen and paper how we're going to write this query with a bigger example i have taken a table employee which have ids and salaries so question says we need to find the nth highest salary for the sake of example let's take n is equal to 4 so the first thing came to our mind is what if if we sort the salary in the descending order and we simply return the salary at the fourth row so one two three four which is 300 but the answer is incorrect why because the value at row third and the value at row fourth are same so 300 is the third highest not the fourth highest so first thing we found was that we need to sort the salary in the descending order and the second thing is we need to use distinct and why we are using distinct to eliminate the duplicate values so our fourth highest will gonna be 200 now the third thing came that how we'll gonna get the fourth value so my SQL have a close limit. It would take two arguments. One is offset and another is limit. So let me explain how limit works. Suppose we have a table 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if I say select n and the suppose the table name is t from t order by n limit 2 comma 3 so this is our offset and this is our limit so what offset will do it will take the first two entries and will gonna eliminate it you can say we will not count these two and it will return me the next three values which are three four five so how the limit work that it will give me the values of the limit after the offset so first thing was we need to sort our salaries in the descending order we need to use distinct and third we will use limit so let's write the query select distinct salary from employee order by salary in descending order and we will set our limit to n1 and let's 
set our n equal to n minus 1. So why we are setting our n to n minus 1 is because see here if we take n equal to 3 and so our n will become here in the query n minus 1 which is equal to 2 so our offset is 2 so it will eliminate 200 and 300 and it will return the first value after the offset that will gonna be 100 so let's submit it let's see how it works so it works fine and thank you so much for watching the video if you have any question please let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe thank you